So you're thinking of making a move to Buena Park in sunny Orange County, California. Well, most of the time it's sunny. It's been raining lately. In this video, we're going to hop on a map and we're going to take a nice tour of Buena Park in the area. And you definitely want to stick around the end because I go over the entertainment, the restaurants, all kinds of things. Let's get to it. So if this is your first time to channel, welcome. If you want to know everything there is to know about living, working, playing, owning a home in, going to park or vine in uh, any city in Orange County, do us a favor, hit the subscribe button, click the bell for notification so you can be kept up to date on what's happening in the market here in Orange County. Hi, my name is Bruce Clark, real estate agent with Caldwell Banker. Been doing it more than 17 years. And every day we, we get calls and emails and text messages and requests for Zoom calls with people that are looking to make a move literally from all over the world so whether you're looking to make a move next five days 50 days or further out give us a call shoot us text send us an email schedule a zoom call we'd love to help you make a smooth move to orange county california today we're in beautiful absolutely fantastic buena park so here we're on the map let's talk about buena park approximately 10.7 acres is the size a lot of entertainment a lot of entertainment we're gonna stick with me i got a lot of stuff to show you Let's take a quick look. Let's go up north. We have a Ralph B. Clark Park. It's about 107 acres. Love the last name. I wish I was related to the guy, but I'm not. Um, <laughs> it's a big park, amphitheater, all kinds of cool stuff. Las Coyotes Country Club, 27 holes, originally designed by a guy named Billy Bell. A famous golf course designer named Ted Robinson came over and, and uh, helped modify the course. But great, very beautiful course. You're not far as you can see. You border border Fullerton, you border Anaheim, you border Cyprus, so you have you're you're right there. Yeah, there's I love the location. I think that Buena Park is is highly undervalued. I think there's some other areas also, and, and one of the things that I one of the reasons I believe that is that as you're moved further out um, or farther out, let's say the Corona and the Riverside County, and as prices go up. These are also going to go up because you're closer to Newport Beach, Los Angeles, San Diego, places like that. So Fullerton Municipal Airport, you're not far from that. You're not far from LAX. I'll show you. I'll show you how far you are from LA. So you're really not far. It's as big as Buena Park is. It's just not really big. What's there to do there? Oh my goodness. There's all kinds of cool stuff. One is Knott's Berry Farm. It's a 57 acre park. It's the park. It's 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 one of our favorite parks. There's a lot of things to see and do there. They have uh, excellent roller coasters, and I'm going to show you the inside of, of Knott's Berry Park. I think you really like it. And they call it an old school theme park with rides and charm, and, and we agree. We really like the place. It's it's got something for uh, younger kids and middle middle aged kids. We like the dining options. Location's fantastic. It's it's easy to get to. It's Never really, it's not even remotely overcrowded like, like Disneyland, which, which can get crazy. And the prices are, are much better, so, but we love it. Now, not far from there is their Soak City. And that's about 15 acres, and that's really fun. And it's right now closed. It's open between May and September, so it's closed. I'm making this in January of uh, 2023, so. Um, you're, you, know, you, live in, you live in Buena Park. You're not far from that. You're also not far. Disneyland if you wanted to go to Disneyland so you could certainly do that as you can see we've got Disneyland down this way so see hold on Disneyland so you're not far from either but if I lived in Knott's Berry I mean Buena Park don't know I'd ever go to Disneyland um but it's it's a really it's a really nice city it's it's a suburban a commercial area they've got a lot of parks I was amazed at the number of malls they had let me let's take Take a look at some of the cool things to do over there. So one of the neat things to do is is eat. <laughs> you, we love eating. Porto's Bakery and Cafe. We waited about 20 minutes to get in this place when we were uh, filming our videos uh, recently. Actually, excellent food. Excellent food. You get 19,000 reviews. You get a uh, four and a half star. You got to check it out. It's called Porto's. And if you're in Buena Park, definitely have to go. An amazing bakery. Love the food, uh, the, the chicken plate. You can get these 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 uh, potato balls. And anyway, you gotta go to Porto's if you're in the area. You really you you have to. So a lot of a lot of good restaurants, and it's all right around beach. Now, what you also have 
And so let's talk about some entertainment. You have Medieval Times Dinner and Tournament. That's a really fun, that's a really fun show. We've we've taken the kids there a couple times. It's a jousting, as you can see. Frankly, is it, some people say the food's not that good. I don't know. I was in the Marine Corps, so I, I, I guess I'm a little biased because um, I've had military <laughs> food. I've, I've eaten, I've eaten uh, uh, Korean War era sea rations out of oh, the metal can, so I don't know. It's fun though, but they have a jousting tournament and, and they involve you. And it's really cool. You, again, it's just one of those must do's. If you're in the area, you've got to go to Medieval Times. Now they also, they have a new one. So there's Porto's and this is all within a very short period, as you can see. Now this is a, this is set on the ship, but Medieval Times dinner and, and tournament, a lot of fun. We took our son to the, to the Pirates dinner adventure and it was really cool because they involved the kids and they're running around the swashbucklers and it really, it really is a fun, a fun place. So you have two of those right there. What you also have again, you've got uh, as far as food, you've got something called portillas. Uh, there's pigs, pigs bin mud buggies. Um, you just got a lot. Of, you got a lot of food. The Surfside gliders. You got something called portillas, which is um, which is a famous hot dog out of. Out of uh, out of Chicago, so Korean barbecue, rock and brews. This was started by one of the the founders of Kiss, uh, Gene Simmons. So good food, we really, really like it. Again, barbecue, IHOP, claim jumper, ramen. There's a lot, a lot of food around here. We really liked, really liked, really liked going around uh, uh, the area. So. So there, there we've talked about entertainment. We really talked about restaurants also. We had some more, there's uh, Portillo's. And again, they're a famous hot dog place out of, out of Chicago. You've got dumplings, uh, youngin. So a lot of, lot of good food. Now again, you're not far from Anaheim. You can go to the downtown Disney. In fact, they're gonna open a Porto's there, we understand. Uh, I, I don't know that I would make the run over most of the time, but um, certainly Porto's, Porto's because it's local. So you got Popeye's chicken, uh, two and a half, start almost, uh, almost three, but uh, I like Popeye's. They've got uh, chilies, so you know they've got a, they've got a, a few. They got some Mama Pops and then some bigger places, and then uh, Wagyu meat and grill. This is a butcher shop. This was smaller than we than we thought that it would be, but Wagyu beef is considered some of the, the best beef or best meat in the world. We used to eat over in, when I was in Okinawa, we'd eat some Wagyu, so smaller place but the, the food absolutely fantastic teriyaki meats you have seafood and all kinds of good stuff so I'll be doing a, a lot of drawing here in a second and I want to go over a few more things shopping a lot of shopping goodness gracious a lot of shopping downtown mall you got a marketplace you have a shop you have the Fullerton you're not you're really not that far you've got the Anaheim if you wanted you could run over you've got Costa Mesa you've got uh, South Coast that's the neat thing. Buena Park prides itself on being the center of, of, of the Southland, and it really is. It is close to a lot of things, and and I'm a bit confused by 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 why we haven't seen more appreciation or a lot more prices. I, but I attribute it to the it's an older it's an older community. They have overhead power lines. A lot of people are used to buried power lines. The homes are not newer. They do have a new development there, and I, I expect over the next couple decades I expect I expect to be a lot of growth in, in, in the city a lot of great development I think there's some really good investment opportunities so again a lot of food that's very farm look at this I'm telling you it's fun so let me so I'll, I'll take a few seconds and show you this it really is a lot of fun and again this is 57 acres and it's it's a lot less expensive in Disneyland I'll tell you, we we absolutely loved it, absolutely loved it. Let's go to let's let's talk about uh, some distances now. So Buena Park to Newport Beach, as you can see, you're going to be on, you're going to be. Let me let me do a little drawing. So you can easily hop on the five, and you can take the fifty-five. Alluded to that. Bam, you end up in Newport Beach, Huntington Beach, not that far. Corona Del Mar. This, if you continue. On the five, you'll go to San Diego. If you go north, you go to Los Angeles. It really is that simple. So 
50, uh, the five to 55, bam, you're in Newport Beach. It's just, it's just not far, you half hour. Right now they're saying 33 minutes. During the summer, I'd add, I'd add 20 minutes or so. But you're, you're, you're just not that far. You're not far, you're going to Long Beach. And as you can see, Sunset Beach, all that. So you are close, you are close to, to Newport Beach. So got the world's, some of the world's best beaches. I mean, a beautiful place. How far are you from Los Angeles? Right now it says 36 minutes if you're taking the five. Let's take a quick look. What, how are you gonna get there? I'm gonna take the five up north. It really is that simple. That's why I like, love the location of Buena Park. It's simple. Again, take the five. You end up. You've got Orange. You've got you've got Anaheim. You've got the Orange. You've got the um, the Orange Outlet Malls there. So again, you're just not far from a lot of stuff. Because you've got you've, as you can see, you've got all the other freeways of 405, and it takes you a lot of different places. But really, you know, five is is where probably you're going to do most of your most of your driving. So you're 36 minutes to Los Angeles. You're an hour. How are you? An hour and 43 right now. And they're saying. Two point. Uh, this is for, I'm sorry, via the 15. So if you go the the five, you're an hour and 43 minutes to, to San Diego. So it gives you a good, I think it gives you a really good idea. Of, so you're an hour and 47 minutes to to San Diego, and it's simple. You're gonna take the five. You're gonna, you're gonna drive right by Irvine. You're gonna uh, San Juan Capistrano. In fact, you're gonna go through San Juan. A lot of times we'll stop or San Clemente. We'll stop, grab a beverage. Uh, you can grab some food there. You're by Dana Point. Love Dana Point. It's up the harbor. A lot of a lot of cool things to do. Again, you keep coming to five, as you can see. We go by Camp Pendleton. Hoorah. Talbos Marines. So simplify. You've got Oceanside, which which initial uh, Camp Pendleton is there. And then Oceanside uh, is a chair head we would we were Pendleton. Uh, was there a few times for rifle range and you did some other things there and then discharge once I came back from Okinawa. So um, a lot of jarheads frequent to Oceanside, that's what I'm saying. So Carlsbad, Encinitas, Solana Beach, you keep coming down, Retro Santa Fe, beautiful areas we've sold down here. We've sold in LA County, Orange County, LA County, Riverside County. Um, I've lived in I've lived in all those those, those counties. So I, we really know them well. Again, you'll end up in San Diego, let me, I'll draw it in. So just keep coming down south. There's really, it's not hard to get to San Diego or LA from, from Buena Park. You just take five. Um, I went to Coronado for Water Safety Survival Instructor School, which is, uh, I taught the Marine and Navy personnel how to survive and, well, how to swim and survive in inclement water and um, marathon swimming. So love it. Coronado. Great place. You're gonna go across a bridge. Get over there. Go take take a look at the uh, Hotel Del Coronado. Love it. You're not that far as you can see to another country, Mexico. So there's TJ Tijuana, and then you've got you've got everything else. So let's come back to Buena Park. I think it's an undervalued city. I think it has a lot going for it. I love the location. I love the, the proximity to things. I love the things that it has. You've got you've got excellent schools. We really love Buena Park. You have excellent schools. You have a lot of shopping. You have a lot of entertainment. You're you're a great location because you're the, the center of the Southland. Crime is a little better than average for for Orange County, which is to say that it's that it's good. The 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 opportunities in in Buena Park. I think certainly. Whether you're looking to make a move there as a primary or whether you're looking to make a move there as an investor, there's a lot of great things here, especially the lots of, so a lot of these homes are going to be a little bigger than you're going to find certainly in Irvine, um, of course, in Newport Coast Beach or you know, different, totally different price range. But as you're looking, as you're looking around, you've got Anaheim's and Artesia and you've got Fullerton's and I, I like them all. I think there's going to be a lot of good opportunities, but the location is fantastic. So. Oh, the ADUs, you can build an accessory dwelling unit or a granny flat. So again, gives you a lot of opportunities as an investor, as an owner occupant, uh, to house hack, live in your main home, rent out the accessory dwelling unit, the granny flat. So that concludes our map tour of, of Buena Park. And we really love it. There's a lot of great opportunities. So whether you're looking to make a move next five days, 50 days or further out, give us a call, shoot us text, 
send us an email. We'd love to help you make a smooth move to Buena Park, any city in Orange County, LA County, San Diego County. Have a great day.